I'd been working over a number of years with a fantastic photographer, Richard Ansett. He and I had been discussing this idea of a, a, a sort of a pastiche on ecclesiastical pictures with a figure that was sort of lending itself to St. Francis of Assisi. But tongue in cheek um, and, and, and leaning to that, but colourful, bright, enthusiastic, full of life. So we're always planning and every time I see him, we say, oh, we really must do that shoot. And then suddenly Radio Times says, we're um, doing a big Chris Packham thing. Would you want to do something? And we were like, yes, we can do it. So luckily, Radio Times have backed it and we've just built this amazing set. Well, here am I dressed as a monk. I'd never thought the day would come. I'm clearly not worthy. Um, certainly, um, you know, I wouldn't qualify. I'm not, a, I'm not a righteous person. That's the pastiche that we're playing on, this idea of the patron saint. So he's allowing us to have some fun with that, but we're also saying that, that Chris is one of those people. Well, he is the face of a lot of people that are working really hard to try and change things for the environment and teach us, and he's one of the teachers. He's one of those important people. Having the opportunity to guest edit the Radio Times and shape the content, um, to firstly warn people that we're in a crisis, but secondly to enhance their admiration for the natural world so they want to look after that natural world, and then thirdly to empower them to understand that they can make a difference themselves, and that's the key thing. Every single one of us can count, but now is the time to stand up and be counted. So Chris gave us a list of the most endangered animals that we all recognise and know, um, so that we can get a sense of what's happening to the world. People have to realise that you know, we're trying to gather people's attention here and the message of the cover is to celebrate the diversity of our endangered life in the UK. So it's not just Chris in a cassock. I'm going to be surrounded by you know, species which are iconic in the UK. Golden eagles, wildcat, red squirrels, barn owls, these sorts of things. The species that we really cherish and we have the capability of looking after if only we get on with it. It's a privilege to be able to guest edit a magazine with such a wide readership and, and from my point of view I want to do a good job and also I want to make it count and I want to make sure that the readers can take something away where they feel empowered to make that difference. <laughs>